Hello everyone, good morning, welcome back. Uh, today is the turn of English language and uh, we are going to revise chapter number 17 and 18 together today, okay? Means chapter number 17 is uh, synonyms and chapter number 18 uh, antonyms together we will revise today, okay? So let's begin with chapter number 17 first, uh, synonyms. So children, what are synonyms? I hope you all remember that synonyms are word having same or nearly the same meaning as another word or phrase, okay? That is called synonym. So let's see here. What are synonym? A word. Having. Same. Or. Nearly. The same. meaning as another word or phrase okay for example gentle can you give me another word which has same meaning as gentle okay so gentle means soft so you can say soft also over here you can write Okay, so soft and gentle both have same meaning. Understood? Uh, for example, grand. Either you can say grand or you can say large. Both have you know, nearly the same meaning. Then you can say beautiful. Sometimes we, we say pretty, right? When we like something. Instead of saying beautiful. So, pretty. So these are some examples of synonyms. So words having the same meaning or nearly the same meaning are called synonyms. Okay. So let's see some more words having the same meaning. Okay children. So here I have written some words. We will write it synonyms. Okay. So the first one is allow. So what is the uh, synonym of allow? Allow. Synonym is permit. Okay, then ancient means old. So you can say that ancient is a synonym of old or permit is a synonym of allow. Mm -hmm. Begin means to start something. So you can write a start. There's another term. You can also write commence. Commence, start means begin. Okay, then decrease. Means come hona means reduce. So reduce is also a synonym of decrease. Then depend. Really means to depend. Difficult, it's very hard. I mean it's very easy. So its synonym is hard. Do means to act or to perform. You can also say act or you can also say perform. Okay. Then enemy. So the synonym of enemy is foe. You can also say foe or you can say enemy. Then excess means something which is too much. So the synonym is surplus means bahut zada. Then last one. Faithful or you can say loyal, L-O-Y-A-L, loyal, okay. So here are some uh, synonyms and you have to learn as many as you can, okay. Let's see some more examples. Forgive, if you want to write the same meaning or nearly the same meaning word of forgive, you can write pardon, okay, because both have the same meaning. Hide. Conceal, because conceal and hide both have both have both having a same meaning. So uh, you can say conceal is a synonym of hide, or hide is a synonym of conceal. Okay. Then honor means privileged or prestige. Okay. Then mistake, you know, it's very easy, very common also. Error. 
nice you can say decent or nice both having the same meaning then precious something which is you no know, very precious means very valuable so you can say valuable is a synonym of precious then rich i hope you all know very easy one wealthy okay and sorrow means grief so grief is the synonym for sorrow okay so all these are synonym of each other clear now let's do uh, one exercise to make it more clear friends so in this exercise you have to match the word with the correct synonym means you have to match the word uh, with that word which is having the same or nearly the same meaning okay and uh, this exercise i have taken from your practice worksheet book and uh, you will get this exercise on page number 24 you can see this worksheet 23 page number 24 if you open this if you have you can open this and then you can directly fill it over here okay what you have to do you in this book you have to just do the match okay same thing i have written over here understood you can see some words are given and then you have to match the word with the with these words clear means the words are given and the pictures are given and you can see under each picture some words are given so you have to match these words with the upper side words clear same thing i have given over here this like this understand so let's do the first one is answer so what do you think is the best word which is having the same meaning like answer sleepy do you think that sleepy is a match is it's matching no no then assist tiny afraid near distance leave inquire reply or tidy if you see the word reply it also means to give the answer right to reply someone to give the answer to someone okay so i think reply is the synonym of answer so we'll write over here number 1 you can if you in your book you you can directly match but here i am just writing the numbering okay? i am doing numbering only second one is drowsy so sleepy second third is far far means having a distance so distance is here this is number 3 far then is small small means tiny number 4 then thin thin means clean or you can say thin is the synonym of clean number 5 in your book you have to match clear then close close means to near number 6 the number 7 neat neat means tidy okay so write number 7 here then scared means to afraid number 8 then help help means to assist someone to help someone so number 9 and then ask means to uh, when you inquire somebody means to uh, to ask something then you can say inquire okay so number 10 clear but in your book you will not do this like this numbering one because there are already uh, examples are given you have to match the word upper words with the lower words understood i hope synonym is clear to all of you now let's move to the next topic students so as we have completed synonyms now it's turn to revise antonyms so what are antonyms it is just opposite to synonym synonyms means similar meaning words or having the having nearly the same meaning are called synonyms antonym means just opposite okay so word or phrase having the opposite meaning to and the word or phrase is called antonym okay so let's see over here what are antonyms a word or phrase having opposite meaning 
Wood is called antelope. Okay, for example, large. So, what's the opposite of large? Tiny. Right? Far. Near. Then. Above. Below. So, these are words you can see that are having the opposite meaning to another. Right? So, words like this are called antonyms. So now we'll see some more words to get it more clear. Okay students, so now let's do these words. We have to write the, the opposite or the antonym of these words. Okay, the first one is absence. So the opposite of absence is presence. Okay, then accept. The opposite of accept is refuse. Okay, means to reject. Then admit, opposite of admit is deny. Hmm? Then arrival, opposite or you can say antonym of arrival is departure. Then attack. So the opposite of attack is defend. Then begin. So the opposite of begin is finish or end. Then busy. Opposite of busy is idle. Means when, it's, when you have no work. Okay. Then free, uh, then care. Opposite of care is neglect. Then poor. The opposite of poor is Wealthy. Then peace. War. So these are some words. We can say the antonyms of each other. Let's do one exercise to make it more clear. In this one you have to fill the antonym for the underlined word. Means you have to fill the antonym for the word which is underlined. So you can see that in every sentence there is a word which is underlined. So we have to replace that word with the antonyms. Okay, means the opposite word. So let's begin. First one is I am late for the meeting. So in this sentence you can see word late is underlined. So what is the antonym or the opposite of late is early. Okay, so I am early for the meeting. Next, would you please close the door? So, what is the antonym of close? What is the opposite of close? Open. So, would you please open the door? Next, that is a good dog. So, the opposite of good, the antonym of good is bad. That is the bad dog. This test is easy. So, what is the opposite of easy? Difficult. So, this test is difficult. Next, my glass is empty. So, what is the opposite or antonym of empty? Full. Okay. So, my glass is full. Sixth one is, do not start running yet. So, the opposite of start is stop means do not stop running yet okay so is that a frown on your face frown is an expression of a face when you, you know make face angry or you know, when you pay, make face when you get lines on your forehead that's called a frown face so smile 
is the antonym of from okay so the sentence will be is that a smile on your face next you have to go up the stairs so what is the antonym for up down okay last today is very cold so the opposite of cold is hot today is very hot i hope the antonym and synonym are clear to all of you and uh, children please keep on practicing so that you can you can do well in your exams